Well, new at six, some great news. Uh, missing show dog found after spending three days roaming the grounds of Hartsfield Jackson International. You are looking at pictures of the happy reunion right here. We told you how Gail escaped her cage on Saturday. Yeah, so many were sending prayers, worried. CBS 46's Trayson Bragg joins us live at the airport. And Trayson, you've learned there is now a fight over actually who owns Gail. Yes, that is very true. In fact, officials here at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport are relieved and happy today that Gail was found. But I spoke to a man who claims to be her rightful owner. He says today was bittersweet. Now, I spoke to that man whose name is Mark Darwish. He says he lives in South Carolina. He says around 11 a.m. today, he received a call from airport officials saying that Gail was spotted. He says he then jumped in his car, drove the two and a half hours to the airport, showed documentation to airport officials that he was her rightful owner. They then cleared him and allowed him to go on the tarmac and help and assist in this search. He says after about 10 minutes of calling Gail's name, she jumped out of the brush and right into his arms. He says what happened next has left him speechless. It just breaks my heart. I, you know, I had her in my arms and I wanted to take her home and I couldn't even, I, I didn't even know what to say to my wife. She's back at home and I had to tell her I'm coming home empty handed. Now Darwish says uh, airport officials are, excuse me, not airport officials, but KLM airline officials actually took uh, Gail from him after he found Gail. They then refused to give him Gail. He says they told him, get this, they are sending Gail to Amsterdam to be with the man who was traveling with Gail. That is her original breeder. Now, when we asked why, Darwish says he did agree to terms with the breeder to sell back Gail to him. But he says that the breeder never paid in full. Therefore, Gail is still in his name. He had never transferred those documents. Now, we reached out to KLM Airlines to find out why they decided to send Gail, even though the documentation is still in Darwish's name. We're still waiting for those answers. As for Darwish, he says that he was told by KLM that she, that being Gail, is minutes away from being sent to Amsterdam. He also said that if she goes to Amsterdam, he will most likely never see her again, which is, of course, bad news and sad news for him. You can catch the story reporting live in Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Trace and Bragg, CBS 46 News. All right.